Assalamu alaikum my dear students. Hello, how are you all? Hope you are doing fine by the grace of Almighty Allah. Welcome to NFS Home School and this is Ariful Islam, Assistant Teacher of English, National Idol English Version School, Morning Shift. Today I am going to take an English second paper class for class 6 students. Our today's topic, voice, lecture 3, imperative. So this is the third class of annual examination and this class is very important because I will give SW at the end of the class. So let's start the class. Voice imperative. So first we have to know what imperative sentence is. Uh, an imperative sentence is a sentence of request, command, order, proposed, suggest. So uh, rules of acting from passive voice. Rules of active from passive voice. First, we will use let or let not. Second, object becomes subject. We know what object is. Third one, we will use be. Number four, past participle of verb. Number five, by. And number six, subject becomes object. So let's go to active from passive voice. Number one, do it. Let me tell you one thing, in imperative sentence, as there is no subject, so there is no tense, okay, do it, what kind of tense, tense it is, no tense. So in, ca uh, in case of imperative sentence, what will you do, we will take first let or let not. If the sentence is affirmative, we will, let, we will take let, and if the sentence is negative, imperative negative, we will take let not. So as the subject is do it, it is uh, imperative assertive sentence. So we will take let first, let and then object becomes subject. It object, it will be subject. Let it, then we will add B. B and after B we will add past participle of verb. So let it be done. As there is no subject, we do not need add by as there is no subject. Okay. Next one. Don't hate the poor. If the imperative sentence starts with don't, we will add let not. In case of negative sentence, we will add let not. So in, in place of don't, we will add let not. Okay. Then object becomes subject, let not, the poor object, the poor, then we will add be and past participle of the main verb, hate it. So if the sentence starts with don't, we will add let not, object becomes subject, be and past participle of main verb. Look the sentence very carefully. Let her read the book. In this sentence, we will add if let is given in a sentence, we do not need to put another let. If let is given in the sentence, we will take this let. And look the sentence, Here is, which one is object? Her is object or the book is object? In this sentence, her is object. Let me say, I read the book. Let me write. I read the book. This is an assertive sentence. If we want to make it an imperative, what will we do? If the assertive sentence starts with first person or third person, we will take let first. Then subject become object. After let, subject become objective form. Let me read the book. So in this sentence, me is a subject of assertive sentence. So in this sentence also, me is the subject, not objective form. So in this sentence, her though is objective form, but this is the subject of imperative sentence. So we will take main, object of main verb, object of main verb, let the book, object becomes subject. We will take 
B and past participle of main verb. Read. Then we will take by because as there is subject is given, we need to uh, take by, and her will be her in objective form. Understand? I hope you are you have understand. So let one let me help the poor. Let is given. We will take let. Then object of main verb. This is the object. This is the subject. Let the poor then we will take be let the poor be help we be helped we will take by why by as subject is given subject will be object me will be me in objective form okay next one please come here if the imperative sentence starts with please so this imperative sentence expresses request so we will take in case of uh, the sentence starts with please, we will take, we will write, you were requested to. You were requested to, in place of please, we will write requested to, then we will write rest of the thing. This is the exceptional case of imperative sentence. If the sentence starts with please, we will add, we will write, you were requested to, and then, then the rest of the thing, the voice is done. So this is the in case of only the sentence starts with please. We'll go to move next to number six. Please don't smoke. So in case of please, we add you are requested. You are requested. In case of please, we we write you are requested as there is don't is given, we will write you are requested not to. Okay? You are requested not to smoke. So if the sentence starts with please, we will write you are requested. And if the sentence starts with please don't, we will write you are requested not to. Then, this is very important, buy me a pen. Look, in this sentence we find two objects, me and a book. So what did we do in the assertive sentences? In the assertive sentence, when we found two objects, two object, we took always the first object. Okay, but in case of imperative sentence, you will always have to take the second object always all the time, or you will have to take the direct object all the time. So this is a direct object. First, we will take let as this imperative sentence. Then we will take the direct object, the second object all the time. Let a book, we will add B and past participle main verb bought. And before the indirect object, what, uh, what did we do? Before the direct object, we add, we add it two or four according to the meaning. So if we take the second object, what did we do in the assertive sentence? we add it two or four before the indirect object. It is also, if we take the second object, let a book be brought, we will add two or four according to the meaning before the indirect object. So let a book be brought, we will add four here, for me, okay? Last one, give me the pen. So this sentence ha has also two object. So we will add, let first, let the pen, we, have, we uh, have taken the second object, let the pen, we will add B next, past participle of main verb, so let the pen be given, we will add two or four before the indirect object. So we, uh, we usually add after given two and me. So today's class is finished, my dear students. I hope you have understood today's class. This is a homework. Since the uh, following active voices into passive voices, this so is the base answer, pay the bill. Number C, don't share the circuit with anyone. Don't drive the car. Take care of your health. Let the girl do the work. Please do the sum. Please don't run in the sun. 
plant me a flower, bring me a book. So this is your lecture three and homework two. Submit your homework one Sunday within 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. in the school library. You'll also collect these copies uh, one Sunday within 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. SW is very important because we will give SBS City and Diary Mark on the basis of the submission of the SW. So my dear students, that's all for today. Keep practicing at home about your parents. Stay home, stay well. See you again. Till then, Allah Hafiz. Assalamu alaikum.